You can now send messages and attachments with Gmail's confidential mode to help protect sensitive information from unauthorized access. You can use confidential mode to set an expiration date for messages or revoke access at any time. Recipients of these confidential messages will have the options of forward copy, print, and download disabled. But a note that although confidential mode helps prevent recipients from accidentally sharing your email, it doesn't prevent recipients from taking screenshots or photos of your messages or attachments. Recipients who have malicious programs on their computer may still be able to copy or download your messages or attachments. Let's see how it works here. By default, Confidential Send Mail is turned on as of July 2019. However, if you're using Gmail with a work or school account, you might need to contact your admin to make sure that confidential mode is turned on. You'll compose an email just as you would any other email. And at the bottom right of the window, click to turn on confidential mode, this button here. If you've already turned on confidential mode for an email, go to the bottom of the email and click edit. Pop-up window will appear and you can set an expiration date and passcode. These settings impact both the message text and any attachments. If you choose no SMS passcode, recipients using the Gmail app will be able to open it directly. Recipients who don't use Gmail will get emailed a passcode. If you choose SMS passcode, recipients will get a passcode via text message. Make sure you enter the recipient's phone number and not your own. Then click Save. For this message, I chose to send a passcode. Clicking the Send button will open the confirmed phone numbers where here is where you'll enter the recipient's number and not your own. If you ever want to remove early access, just go back to the message in your sent items in Gmail and click the remove access button. If the sender used confidential mail to send the email, you can view the message and attachments until the expiration date or until the sender removes access. Options to copy, paste, download, print, and forward the message, text, and attachments will be disabled, and you might need to enter in a passcode to get the email. If the sender doesn't require an SMS passcode and you're using the latest Gmail app, you'll probably directly see the email when you open it. If you're using another email client, open the email and click the link, view the email, and then sign in with your Google credentials to view the message. If the sender requires an SMS passcode, you'll select send passcode, check your text messages for the passcode, and enter in that passcode, and then click submit. That passcode is sent every time you need to push the button, so there's no need to save any of these passcodes. If you're using another email account, you'll open the email and click the view the email link. A new page will open, and then you'll select send passcode. Check your text messages for email for, or email for the passcode and you'll enter in the passcode and then se select submit. If the passcode didn't have an SMS number, they'll get that passcode through email. Thanks for watching this video on Gmail Confidential Send. I've done a ton of other Gmail videos. If you want to check them out, I'll leave a playlist in the video description as well as the video info cards. Thanks for watching. Your likes, comments, and shares help me create more impactful videos in the future. Stay tuned for next week's video. Subscribe for new videos and click the bell to get an email when new videos are published.